how are we? It's Wayne. Uh, I'm the Rogue Adventurer. Um, hopefully this connection holds out. It's telling me it's a bit weak. Let's see, uh, let's see who comes on, hey? Uh, as per usual, if you're watching the replay, thank you very much. If you're coming in um, throughout the discussion, you need to watch the replay later. Or you're watching it live, thanks for jumping on. Um, if you're watching the replay, uh, please leave some comments if you like what you're watching jump on and touch yes to the notification so you don't want to get on live so hey thanks for the two people that look like they're on all right guys um, wanted to touch base and give you a quick uh, New Year's Eve message something to think about uh, so I would appreciate it if you can listen in for a little bit and we'll see how things go let me just adjust this a little bit see if I can fix fix the um, signal. It keeps telling me our uh, connection's weak. Anyway, it's all good. Hey Steve, how are you buddy? Happy New Year's. All right, what, um, what I actually wanted to talk about uh, basically is, is give everyone something to ponder um, as we head into the New, New Year's Eve celebrations tonight. Um, and basically this all comes back to how people can manage their symptoms of PTSD. Um, and that's through cultivating positivity um hey lynn how are you good to see you tonight sally how's things so by cultivating um positivity and being able to reignite um, a sense of purpose and belonging um they, i think these are key factors in ensuring that we can live or help veterans or people suffering PTSD live um, lives that are fulfilling um, and give us reasons to basically get out of bed every day. For myself, when I returned from Afghanistan, I really struggled re with reintegrating back into life in Australia. I had problems with crowds um, and sudden loud noises and one of my biggest struggles was actually children um, and this stems from the, the incident that we had um, in Afghanistan where we had the suicide bomber that I spoke about previously. Um, we had several children that were involved who were, who were severely um, and critically injured and working working through that on the day um, was quite intense but the rebound effect of living with that was or working with that afterwards was quite quite difficult um, so after the fact even um, even children's happy screams you know as they chase each other around playgrounds used to make me cringe you know really set off my triggers um, the hairs would stand up on the back of my neck and I'd, I'd really begin to get stressed um, so not long after I returned from Afghanistan, I went to a school fate. Didn't really think too much of it because I didn't know the depth of my um, trigger.